Hi everyone, it's Karen. I'm back because I wanted to share this really cute little um, album. Um, I've actually made it into a photo album, but it could easily be uh, for daily journaling. It could be for um, a travel journal because it's got lots of pockets in it. So for tucking in all kinds of things that you collect on your journeys. And it's made with these brown paper bags. Uh, they're craft bags and I got them on Amazon and I got a hundred of them and they weren't really expensive and they don't have a gusset or anything on the bottom. They're just glued closed on the bottom and I created this really cute little journal and I'm going to show you the journal in a minute but I just want to show you how quickly how I put it together. The cover is two bags put together and then I did like a wrap closure on it. And then there's all the page, all the other bags make pages inside. I have seen people craft with these paper bags, but I've never seen uh, anything shown how they put um, any, any of their um, journals that they're doing together. And so I just kind of figured this out myself. Um, and, um, but I'm sure, you know, I'm, I'm sure I didn't create it. I'm sure someone else has had the same idea but I just wanted to show you what I came up with so I'm just gonna take it it ends up in three parts and I'll just start with the cover so what I did was I took two of the bags I inserted one bag inside of the other bag here and it overlaps about there's about two inches there that it overlaps and then I created a spine here and this spine area here is about an inch, inch and a half. And then this is just the bottom of the bag fold in just and it's about an inch. So that created the edge that I'd need for uh, this side of the, the journal. And then there's the spine, which I reinforced. And then this would be the back, and then this becomes the wrap that goes around the front and, and, and holds the journal together. And what I did was I just used a, a piece of a cereal box and I cut it to this shape, just slightly smaller, and I put a piece of cardboard right in here, and then I covered it with the decorative paper afterwards. And then I covered the whole thing with decorative papers and material, so it reinforced it. You get that all together and becomes really strong and enforced with either papers or a combination. I use papers and fabric. And then you make your signatures up with the bags. And how you do that is you just take the bags, and I took six for each signature, and I made two signatures. I folded over the bottom of the bag about five centimeters, which is two inches, and I folded them all the same. I just folded the bottoms over two inches, and then I inserted them into each other. You have to sort of alternate because that fold over piece becomes a pocket on each of your pages or a tuck spot, actually a tuck spot. So here's the first one and I put it over and I put the second one on top of it this way. And then the third one, I put that little folded piece in behind. And then this one comes on top and then this one goes behind and this one comes on top. So there's a total of six bags all together and it's alternating so that when you, you can open it then and this is your signature. So that's your signature. There's where you would sew it into place. And these become little tuck spots. After it's sewn in place in the journal, this would be a tuck. And then also you have the opening of the bag where you can put things in as well. And I reinforced the tops of each of the bags with some extra paper, which I'll show you when I show you the final one, so that this is stronger because that, the top of the bag here is kind of weak. And also the tops of these bags, they're kind of, they have the, the two different levels. I cut them off so that it's all one level here as well. So as you would flip through each, there would be a tuck on every, on every page and you can either glue it down this way to be a tuck on that side or glue it down this way to be a tuck on this side and you can decide that as you go through. Have those glued down and you'll see that I've done that and then there's the center and this is where it's sewn in. 
So really simple, just a, a two inch fold on the bottom, alternate them folded together to make your signature and make two exactly the same as that. So six bags folded. And then this one inserts and sews into the cover here. So I'll just move the paper clips and put it in place here so that you can see where it would sew in. So for me, I would paper clip it at the bottom and the top and just push it right into the seam there. And there's the bottom, the little piece here is the bottom of the cover bag right in here. So that comes around and you sew it. This will be where you sew the signature in. So you sew in through here and it would come out here. And that would be your first signature. And then you're gonna have your spine. This is gonna be nice and stiff here with your cardboard in there. And then this is gonna come wrapping around. And your second signature fits right inside of there. You would measure where you want it to go. And you, again, I would trim all these bags evenly across the top so that they're all, they're not, they don't have the two different levels. And each one of them is also going to be reinforced with some decorative paper to make them stronger. So this one fits inside here like that. So you can see that this, basically this signature comes the seam of it is going to be right at the ends of your pages here. And so as you wrap your, your cover around, this is where this one will stitch in. And I just basically marked it and then moved my paper clip so that it was nice and strong and in position. And then sewed it in place. Now, I did sew the cover so there you can see, this is where this one's gonna stitch in here. The other one stitches in here. And you end up with this really cute little journal. With all of every single bag is a pocket. So lots of room for stucking, lots of room for sticking in extra goodies, um, you know, tickets if you're on a trip. Um, P, uh, things that you've picked up on your trip and then you could use this space in here for journaling depending on what papers you put on and also you could put photos and then as you'll see I've used it as a photo thing but I've tucked photos in and attached photos onto the pages. So that's the little journal itself. Really really easy to put together. Your spine right here. A nice wide spine. And I did sew the cover on before I um, stitched in any of the signatures. I'll just undo the tie for a second here to show you the cover a little more closely. I used some fabric and, and also um, a piece of, of cardstock. But I had received this fabric from uh, Jacqueline Haley in some Happy Mail. And it's an upholstery fabric piece that was like a sample piece. I used part of it here on this part of the wrap of the cover so you can imagine this is the cover and this is the spine here this is the back I put a piece of this gorgeous uh, six by six cardstock paper and this is from Kim Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy she has this in stock in her shop right now um, I can't remember what it's called but it's a beautiful um, cardstock six by six pages you'll see it throughout this album and this album I made for my father for a gift for his birthday and it really lends itself well I think to something for a, a man when, uh, sometimes papers are hard to find that are good for men and this paper I think really lends itself well to that and I liked how it matched up with this fabric that I had. So I sewed this piece of fabric right onto the brown bag. This, as you can see, is where the signature was stitched in on this side. You can see the two threads here that I used. And then I used this cardstock on the very back of the bag, which 
I stitched as well all along and then I stitched this piece of fabric onto it comes around and goes onto that little front piece and the other signature is right here stitched in and I also attached my seam binding on here for my closure so I just tied it into the signature thread right there and you can see the signature threads and so again the same as this one you can see the two of them together and of course this spine is nice and stiff because I have that the uh, cardboard in there from the cereal box and then I have it covered with some of the paper and this one would be exactly the same nice and firm and then adding material and of course adding all the cardstock in it allows the paper to become quite a bit you know the bags the craft bags become a lot firmer too so it's not this is, feels quite flimsy and you think well how you know how is that going to be anything but when you get it all finished this is what it's like and it's very firm it's very nice to hold in the hand it's a really nice size and like i said every one of these is a pocket and you can see this is how i lined i used some uh, some digital downloads that i have in the music paper and i i copy onto a heavier weight uh, copy paper i can't remember the weight on it i get it from I'll link it below in in my um, in the list below so you know it'll be amazon.ca but I know they have it everywhere and it's a really nice copy paper to 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 do your digital downloads on because you get it's got a heavier weight to it and so in between every bag opening which is nice and firm has the on each side too I put it sorry for the shadows you would not believe how much lighting I have on right now and I still have shadows like it's just crazy here let me adjust this one a little bit there so you can see that every single pocket I'm gonna get glimpses of my grandson because this album is um, all pictures of my grandson to give to my dad for his birthday he's going to be 86 on Monday so isn't and it, and it makes it really firm so that you can reach right in there. You could get things out of there and you aren't going to rip, rip the original craft bags at all. And then this comes around and becomes part of the front. And I like the wrap style because if you to fill up these pockets with things, nothing's going to fall out of the pockets. The ones on this side are going to be guarded by the spine so nothing can fall out. And the ones on this side are going to be guarded from this side of the wrap on the, on the front here. So things won't fall out of this album very easily. And then I just tied some two colors of green seam binding. I left a short tail here, shorter tail, and a longer tail. It does wrap around twice and ties really nicely, easily for a man, I think, to tie, but still looks nice. And can be positioned so that his little face shows and so if this was sitting on a table laying on a table or whatever you'd see that it's it's a photo album I did take some lace trim and I sprayed it with some uh, sparkly spray of some kind that I had to make it this sort of soft goldy color it goes along with the gold and the fabrics and just added um, a piece that runs all the way around the top just to add a little bit more in one flower that ends there on the spine. I otherwise kept it quite simple because my dad doesn't like fiddly things. He has clumsy sort of fingers and uh, this will make it easier for him, I think. So I'll just show you into the inside a bit. I haven't attached all the pictures because I'm still working on this album because I have to order more pictures. Uh, this is a photography picture that was taken in September. He's nine months old in this picture. They went to a friend's house who um, my son's best friend is a, a professional photographer and they just did some spontaneous shots of him and they just turned out amazing. He is just the cutest thing ever and I'm not biased at all, am I? That's one of the shots that that Chris, the photographer, took. And so I mounted that on the front page and I've added, I'm gonna be adding some little, I did got some di a digital download of 
of different dogs. Um, Rowdy loves dogs. We have three dogs in our family. My husband and I have one and his, his mom and dad have two. And so he just loves dogs. And so I thought, and my dad loves dogs. So I thought, you know, having the dogs on the pages would just add a little bit more personality to it. So there's gonna be little dogs added in as well. And you can see that this, this is part of that paper line from Kim's shop. Angel Dream Crafts. This is part of a digital download and I've combined the papers throughout. On each side of the bag has got some sort of um, uh, paper that reinforces the bag. And I've just put them in with the, the little, um, I used some vintage photo and I just inked up these uh, photo corners and I used those to put the pictures in. That way they, you know, I mean, if someone wanted to, they could change the pictures. I thought with that idea, you could change things around too if you wanted to. And then of course, there's that pocket in between for extra pictures. So I'm just gonna show you some of the papers. Here is um, another, this is part of that paper line um, that I was talking about that's in Angel Dream Crafts Kim and so is this one this is part of the digital download and their beautiful paper is just like I said I think it lends itself so well to this album this is another um, paper part of that paper line this one right here beautiful papers I really really like it it's really nice I'm gonna show you all the photos and this is another. This one here and this one are part of that paper line. And like I said, it's in her shop right now. So, and she's got a sale on right now too at Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy. So pop over and go and have a look because you probably can pick this paper pad up and get a, get a deal while you're at it. So here's why I was showing you before. Here's that tuck that's the fold over from the two inches on the bottom of every bag. I'll just refer back to my first bag and this is it here so again I mentioned that it could be um, it could be attached on glued down here and here to make a pocket on this side or a tuck or it could go on that side so in this particular case if I don't get it caught here with paper clips I attached it down here and here on this side to make a tuck here and then I added in the two photo corners. You could also do, you could do a piece of paper on the side of your photo like that and do a little, I can't remember what it's called. Don't, you know, don't you just love it when you make videos and then you lose words? So this could be uh, glued on here and then this would flip like this. So you could do that as well on that edge if you didn't want to use the photo corners so that that would be a flip. And then you could use this to tuck in photos in your little pocket as well. So that works out really cool and a cool way to add an even more space in this journal. Um, this is another one of the papers here from her that shop. This is a digital download. This is another one of the papers from that beautiful paper line. And this is one as well. And I just basically collaged on the bags. So I used, uh, this is uh, one of the papers, six by six, but I did a, a, a fancy scissor cut on the edge of it here, did a bit of a digital download there. There's the little tuck spot here, and then I put a piece of paper over that. In most cases, I left so you can still see the paper bag in between and I didn't go right to the edges and I didn't have to ink or anything because I think the brown lends itself really well with these papers. And then again, the nice big pocket on each page that you get as well. So you get some, this is a digital download, that's part of the paper line there. And, um, and this side's not finished yet. So this is the back, this is the spine here, and there's a piece of, of uh, cereal box underneath there, and then the cardstock over top so that you can't even see it. Then you can see some of the stitching from, which I think is cool, and it also is texture because you can feel it under your finger. This is a digital download, that's part of the paper line there. 
And then this is the next signature. And as you can see, again, it's sewn in on the edge here. And then this one again flips to the back of the album. This one flips over. And finally that flips, that comes around as you wrap. And you have this really nicely shaped, beautiful album. And you know, now that I think about it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move these because they go on across his face. And I don't want them going across his face. It's just a simple thing. I'll show you what I did anyway. So there's the two strings coming out from putting in the signature. And I just went under one of the strings very carefully because you don't want to break your strings. So just be gentle. And I just pulled that through. And I used two pieces of crinkled seam binding just because I liked both of them with the colors in this. You could use one or you could use sorry ribbon or sorry silk or ribbon or whatever you wanted. And I just tied it there. And then this is your, your anchor one and then your long, so you can just hold that up the front and then you can wrap this around and then now it comes right below his face, which is what I wanted. And wraps a couple times around. And there you have it. Really cute, cute little um, journal, album, a little notebook you could depending on how you put papers you put in if you put all lined papers inside it could easily be a really cute little notebook too and a place to tuck extra things so i just wanted to share that with you today i hope that you found that helpful if you have any questions uh, please leave them in the comment section below leave me a comment anyway and let me know if you enjoyed watching this video and and yeah check out uh, kim's shop and uh, pick up some of those papers for yourself. This is one, one of the papers from that line on the back here. It's just so, so pretty. And uh, thanks again, Jacqueline Haley, for the fabrics that I was able to use in this project. I really appreciate that. And I will talk to you all again soon, guys. Bye for now.